Master of Learning Center at Masters.com. And today we're going to look at Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1, Number 2 from the Blue Book app. And Number 2 reads, which expression is equivalent to x squared plus 3x minus 40? So there's several different ways you can do this. First off, if you're factoring, never factor like, you see that negative 40 at the end? You need two numbers that multiply to give you negative 40. Never factor like 1 and 40. Not like that. To factor your negative 40, what you want to do is you want to say, if I took the square root of 40, what would I get? And you'd get something between 6 and 7. And work down from the 6. 6 doesn't go in. Does 5 go in? How many times does 5 go in? It goes in 8 times. And should, which one should I make negative? Because those two would multiply to give me a positive. If you look in the middle, if it's a, a plus 3, then the bigger number has to be positive. The smaller number has to be negative. So it would factor as x minus 5 times x plus 8. That's the easiest way to do it in the way that I recommend. Now, I'm going to show you three different ways you can do it if you have trouble factoring. One thing you could do is you could use your answer choices here. Literally, if I foiled this, and I'm not going to do every step, but I'd get x squared plus 6x minus 40. And I need a 3x in the middle, so that doesn't work. Here, of course, I'd get x squared plus 3x minus 40, which works. Here, I'd wind up with x squared minus 3x minus 40, which doesn't work because we've got the negative 3 in the middle. And here, I'd wind up with x squared minus 6x minus 40. And again, the middle term is wrong. That's the second way you could do it. Another way you could do it is you could pick a number. So let's say, and this you can do whenever you have variables in the answer choice. If you're looking at a question, you're like, crap, I don't know how to do it. Um, you could pick numbers or any time again there's variables in the answer choice. So if I make my x equal to 1, then I could plug it into this original equation. And instead of x squared plus 3x minus 40, I have 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 40. If I plug 1 squared in, I get 1 and 3 times 1 will be 3 minus 40. And then I get 4 minus 40. And I get negative 36. So when x equals 1, what I get as my answer is negative 36. Now it makes logical sense. If I plug that same 1 into each answer choice, I should get negative 36 if my answer is correct. So I'm going to cross these out because we already did this. If I plug 1 into the first one, I'd get 1 minus 4, which would be negative 3. Then 1 plus 11, which would be positive 11. And I get negative 33. I need negative 36. That's wrong. If I plug it into answer choice B, negative 1, I'm sorry, 1 minus 5 is going to be negative 4. And then 1 plus 8 is going to give me 9. That gives me my negative 36 I'm looking for. Do check every answer choice if you use this method, because if you have more than one answer that works, then you've got to adjust your x and then plug it again. Here I wind up with 1 minus 8, negative 7, 1 plus 5, 6, and I wind up with negative 42, which again is not negative 36 that I'm looking for. And answer choice D, I've got 1 minus 10, negative 9, 1 plus 4, I get 5, and then I get negative 45, not the negative 36 I'm looking for. So once again, the answer is B. Last way you could solve it is you could plug it right into Desmos. So if you plug it into Desmos, you could just hover over the x-intercept, and you see that it's negative 8. If negative 8, 0 is a point on the parabola, then it's got to be x plus 8. And then if 5, 0 is a point on the parabola, if that's the other x-intercept, it's got to be x minus 5. For that, you need to know that it's opposite, opposite. So we're looking for x plus 8, x minus 5. And now, once again, when we go back, um, x plus 8, x minus 5, B is your answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you liked uh, this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these types of questions. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the notes. I'd be happy to shoot a video for you. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out our website. Thank you.